<coughs> Homeworld. Whoa, these little people will become your followers, but first they need your help. If they reach the land, they'll be safe. Yes, indeed they will. Whoa, sculpting power indeed. Sculpt the land. Alrighty. Tap and hold to drag left. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Push the land up. Nice. Eh. What, what is the point of all this land pushing? Push the land to clear the circle. Oh, come on. This is going to take forever. I just want to save those people. They're drowning. They need a deity. They need someone to worship. They need a Doverton deity. Okay, there we go. Yeah, nice. Now use your powers to save the followers. Save your followers. Come here, peeps. Come on, get on up on land. That's right, that's right. Oh boy, the water looks great. You are saved! Oh, big hugs and big embraces. Your followers are safe, and now they see you as their god. Greetings, everyone. My name is Doverton, and welcome to Goddess. It's a mobile game that caught my eye on the App Store, and I had to check it out. It looked awesome. Pretty much, you sculpt different islands, and you have these little followers here, and they can do your bidding, question mark? Hello, little followers. Yes, yes, I am Doverton. They seem to be searching for a promised land. Place a si whoa, 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 Siri, hi. They're stuck. Followers can't climb steep land. Oh, poor little followers. Tap and hold to drag out the land. I'm guessing we're avoiding that water over there, so we gotta dig out this way. Oh, they can climb a little bit. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, they can climb. Making their way downtown. That's nice. They're looking for a place to call home, a promised land. This is just too small. Well, we can't have that. Your followers will continue searching for the promised land. This is just delightful so far. Like, they're just two little followers. I'm guessing they'll breed and make more. Come on, followers. Make your way through the waters. You could have easily just swam that, but there you go. Apparently, they're anti-water. Oh, oh, you need some help. You need some help. Eh. There you go. This place is too crammed. Not a good place for them to settle. Keep going. Let's get rid of all of this nastiness. There we go. There we go. Continue on your journey, little fellas. Your Doverton god supports you completely. This isn't right. Too ugly for a promised land. Your poor followers are running out of options. Well, we've got to make a wonderful land for them. Keep going! This is a beautiful game. Look, fish! This looks more like a promised land. Yeah! This looks nice. A rainbow and everything. Look at that. This looks promising. Your followers love this land. Nice. Night is following. Your help. Your followers need shelter. Bap and hold to remove. Whoa! I have godlike powers. Now your followers can build an abode to live in. Notice their faint outline. Notice that faint outline. Okay, cool. They're building the first abode, so they just do that automatically? That's pretty cool if your followers just automatically build civilizations. I just help them out as their deity. There we go! Their very first abode so they can snuggle in and make some babies. Now they're safe. They want to breed! <laughs> How did I nail that? They want to breed and expand. Oh, I'm sure they want to expand. They need more plots to build on. Okay, wow. <laughs> no one likes rocks on the doorstep. Clear them out to make space. Okay, this is a builder. Hello, builder. Are you done breeding? Did you breed the snot out of your wife? The follower now lives in a bow. This is your way to expand your population. Nice. Okay, sure. Let's clear out more rocks so they can keep building. When, the, when do we have to worry about things like food? Wait for the followers in abodes to breed. <laughs> You almost done in there, buddy? I'm rooting for you. Your god is rooting for you. I know you got this, buddy. You did a good job. Sculpt three plots. Okay, use sculpting to create plots for followers to build on. I thought that said to breed on. Eh. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. How do I inspire people? I'll clear out the sand here. Maybe that can be another plot. Whoa, what is this? Is this how they talk to me? Beacon of expansion. Cool, okay. Boy, being their deity is hard work. I gotta do everything for them. Eh, eh. Come on. Eh, eh. Oh, come on. Get out of the way, sand! Screw you, sand! So I'm apparently not an omnipotent god, because I don't know where this island came from, so I apparently didn't create it. Tap Pip to inspire your followers to come out from breeding and build more abodes. This is how your population grows. Okay, sure. Come on, little fellas. Come on, time to come on out and build. This shows your population. Fill this bar and get a reward. <laughs> I like the sound of this reward. Come on, guys, keep building. Complete them. Complete them? Is that what you said? Nice, and he'll build right over here. Very quaint. Good job, Rodney. You're doing good. <coughs> your god is choking. Yeah, 10 population. 
You filled the bar. Civilization is progressing well, so it's time to collect your reward. Okay, cool. Oh, is this a loot box? This is the reward for filling the population bar. You will need to unlock it with stickers. Stickers hide in your chest. You must find one. Oh! What in the what? The card and the sticker is in your timeline. The timeline chronicles your progress through the game. Tap on the timeline. This is suddenly getting complicated. This is your timeline. All of the cards unlock new features. Try dragging the new future features. The stickers can be dragged onto the abode card to activate it. The color of the tab must match the card. Okay. Boom. You've activated a card. Advancing your civilization. Wonderful. Return to the world to see what it does. What in the world did that do? New Age Shelter? What? Activating the abode cards means followers now build different abodes. Oh, that's pretty fancy. So now we're going to be building fancier abodes? Is that what's happening? I did not realize this would be so complicated. I just wanted to build an empire that worships me. Get rid of these dang rocks. My people hate rocks. Can't bloody stand them. Breeders and workers. <laughs> oh, man. Boy, this game is not hiding the fact that there's a lot of sex going on. Did you just say building? 30 seconds. Oh, that's a travesty. But hey, that's a mobile game for you. It is pretty fancy looking though. I'm so proud to know that my people are having so much sex. I am a proud deity. I guess I'm like Aphrodite. I'm, I'm very proud of that kind of stuff. All right, Roger, go on in there and make some babies. Oh, wow, you're gonna make babies in four seconds. Man, you, you, uh, <laughs> gotta learn some endurance, buddy. All right, y'all done in there? All right, build up another one. Build up another one. Yep, there are 40 seconds. Dang it! <coughs> I hate to get rid of all these lush mountains, but I need more room to expand, right? Can I, is there any way I can make like little stepping steps up to the higher land that they can build on? You are not yet powerful enough to sculpt this land. Screw you! I'm an omnipotent being. I can move any land I choose, thank you. Oh, he's done with that thing. Very cool. Well, I guess I have no choice but to get rid of all of this food source over here, which I think is going to be a horrible mistake, because my people need food, but I, I gotta get more room. There we go. There we go. That's a nice spot, and we can keep the fishies, because I, I feel like getting rid of that fish is just a terrible idea if we're trying to survive, because yes, this is looks like a little bit of a paradise, but also like a little bit of a wasteland if we kind of let things like food sources slip away. And voila, we have another dwelling. Get back to breeding, buddy. Population. 16. You have a new card. Okay, I still don't know what to do with these cards. Restore ruins. Oh, interesting. We can cultivate. Nice. This beacon can be built. Tap nearby abode with an available builder. The beacons often reveal unexpected things, I'm sure. Come on, little builder. Time to rebuild whatever the heck this thing was. Boy, you sure are moving at a mosey with an omnipotent god staring down at you. A minute?! I want to do things in this game. Screw you. What? What is all this exploding over here? All right, almost done with whatever the heck this thing is. Whoa, your follower has built this beacon. Tap on the card to activate it. Whoa, beacon of expansion. Whoa. We now have all this! Reach a population of 24. After reaching this goal, you'll start receiving power from your followers in a form of belief. We need builders to further our empire. Oh, I can spin the camera this way. Cool. Is that a statue of me? Or could it be a statue of me? I must tell my followers to build a statue of myself. So we're gonna have to get more power to cultivate more land and like just do general landscaping so we can get more room to build. Is there any way I can upgrade these houses, make them more into formidable houses? House done and house done. All right, let the breeding commence. Your deity approves this breeding. Okay, well, I guess I'll get rid of this beautiful water. This beautiful oasis is now going to be going to waste. Boy, this game is taking a while. Continue breeding my people continue breeding I decree okay you have a new card nice power of prayer oh they can pray to Doverton now how cool tap on belief to collect it oh man that's so much belief sculpt grass can I do that now can I finally do that 
I can! Nice! Tap to repair the temple. Get to repairing the temple, buddy. I need a temple for Doverton. You better shape it like a D. If it doesn't look like a giant D when you're done with that, you are failing and I will strike you with lightning. Do not test me. Okay, let's clear off this beautiful hillside here and uh, get some more room for the people, don't you know? Because I sure do love my people. I want them to have lots of space to breed because you need lots of room for that. Oh, 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 there's the temple! Oh, cool! Tap on that. Please rate goddess. No. Collect goddess. Oh, wow. This is your gem shop. Here you can buy lots of cool stuff. Tap to activate. Is this the in-game store? Yep, it sure is. Well, we now have an in-game store, which we can spend actual money, which I am never in heck going to do. Okay, so we'll have a nice hillside house here with a grand view of the ocean. That'll be nice. Yes, I, I, I kind of envy whoever lives there. That looks beautiful. Get all this grass out of the way. There, there. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, we can build a dwelling right there. Oh, a chest. Whoa! Oh, but I need to have discovered cards in order to do that. I can't just plop it on one. Okay, nice. We're level 30. We have a new card. What is our card? Settle on grass. Okay, that's next level. That is indeed next level. Well, my people, your deity must go. You all have been lovely. Thank you for building the temple and all that. You're all adorable. Keep breeding and screw you. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been Goddess. I'm out of time. It's an interesting game. It is. It takes a lot of time just to actually do anything. But you kind of get the gist of it. And if you're interested in this kind of sandbox game, which, like, honestly, I might just keep playing it just on my off time. Like, go ahead and just check it out on the App Store. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, do all that good stuff. If you all have any other mobile games you want to see me play, leave a comment down there and let me know what they are. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.